Mastering English Phrases, Unveiling Off the Ship Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase, off the ship. This expression might sound simple, but it has intriguing uses and meanings in English. So, let's set sail on this linguistic journey together. Off the ship is a phrase that, on the surface, denotes a very literal action. It refers to someone or something leaving or being removed from a ship. This could be a person disembarking after a voyage, cargo being unloaded, or even someone being told to leave the ship. In this sense, it's straightforward and tied closely to maritime activities. Beyond its literal meaning, off the ship can take on more figurative nuances. It can imply someone is out of a situation or group, similar to saying they are out of the loop, or no longer part of the team. This usage is more metaphorical and is often used in casual and colloquial speech. In some contexts, off the ship forms part of a larger idiomatic expression. For example, to jump off the ship could mean abandoning a project or a cause when it's about to fail. This is a vivid metaphor for leaving a sinking ship, evoking a sense of urgency and self-preservation. To fully grasp off the ship, let's look at some examples. 1. Literal. After a long journey, the passengers were eager to get off the ship. 2. Figurative. Since he left the company, he's completely off the ship regarding our latest projects. 3. Idiomatic. Many investors jumped off the ship when they realized the startup was not profitable. These examples showcase the versatility of the phrase in different contexts. Understanding phrases like off the ship enriches your English language skills, adding depth to your communication. Remember, English is a language filled with maritime references, reflecting its historical connections to seafaring. I hope this video has been enlightening and enjoyable. Keep exploring, and happy learning!